What's up and welcome to today's video. So back from a month of traveling, back into a solid key for routine now and just fully in work mode. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be inviting you along into a back testing session with myself. We're going through a trade, my trading style, see if there's any trades, if there is bonus, if not, obviously it's part of the game. And I'm gonna be showing you the platform that I'm using for that, which is gonna be Forex Tester 5, which is without a shadow of a doubt, the best performing platform I've used to date with the back testing software. So really excited to show you that as well, show you how it works, and then we'll see if we get any trades along the way. So let's dig into the charts. One last thing before we do start, if you are a Mac user, what you're gonna to need to download is Parallels and Windows 10 or 11. So very similar to how you would with MD4 on Mac. So you're gonna to need to have that in order to run Forex Tester 5, but then once you've downloaded it, you can run Forex Tester 5 and you know, just use it as much as you want. So that's important. But first things first, what we're gonna to need to do once we're actually on Forex Tester 5 is go to new project. So we'll go to new project and we're just gonna call this EU uh, July 2022. We're gonna do a 100K account and then we're gonna select the actual symbol that we wanna use, which is in this case, your dollar and then we're gonna choose the date range. Now, what's important with the date range is go back in time prior to, to, to actually download that historical data. Let me give you an example. So here on the chart, I selected the date range from May 2022. I can't go back any further than that unless I actually download that data. So that's important to do. So what I mean is if we just do this together, the date that I wanna back test is, is July 2022, but I'm actually just gonna download from July 2021 to give me that historical data so I can use that in my trading. So we'll do that from then to then today's date. Download that. We've got all the history. If you haven't got the history, so when you first open this platform, you won't. All you need to do is download that missing data, click on exit, repeat that entire process of what we've just done, and then it'll bring you back onto this screen and then we obviously start testing. So we can start testing create that and then it's quite quick and then what you'll notice is that price just starts running very quickly so what you need to do is pause that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the daily and i've got a lot of data to actually catch up on here so what i'm going to do is speed this up and just let this run for a little while until we get to july 2022. Perfect, so what we can see is we are now fast forwarded to July. So I'm gonna use this in my previous statement. As you can see, you can go back and then use this as a part of your trading of this entire data. Without that, I'd only have this to use and obviously if you trade that way, that's fine, but I, I would like to have that previous date to see what price is doing. So that's that. Next thing is customizing the charts. So all you need to do is you need to right click, go on chart settings, and there's a few things I want to change. So I don't want to have these period separators in. So I'm going to get rid of that. Don't need the grid. And then color scheme, background, I usually have a white. Frame and text is fine. No grid anyway. Candle up is going to be black. So this is the um, border. Same as MT4, I think. Uh, black, black. And then candle up is going to be, I usually have like a bluish color. Usually somewhere around here. somewhere around here. Probably like me in, in which you probably probably used to spend a bit more time trying, trying to get the perfect color, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> moving on. So that, that's that, and then I'm gonna use just like a gray. Perfect, very similar to how I have it on trading view. One last thing which I forgot about is the bid level, so I'm gonna get rid of that, because I don't need that. So that's on settings, and then bid level. Perfect, perfect, so that's that. Now I'm going to get on with trading, so I'm just going to analyze this, start marking up a few things, and then we'll get into trading and see if we can actually find some trades that fit the plan. So let's get into it. Right, so what I wanted to do is to bring you back to the narrative in terms of what I'm looking at. So from a daily picture, structure and order flow is still very bearish. Notice how this was previous spring high, spring low, so new lower low, price failed here, 
to create a new high, therefore structure and order flow is still bearish. Looking at this as potentially weak, so what we've done here is price has obviously failed to create a new high, come back down with clear intent, reactive from the left, and then we start to push up. So this is just a reaction to create more liquidity, just looking at that downside pressure again. And then as we start to build the picture down as well, got dropped to the one hour, what have we got? So understand that this is a daily pullback, this is not a daily run. So what have we got? So price started to build the picture. So new high, higher low, new high. Notice how price here is failing to build clear bullish intent. A lot of sell side liquidity is being stacked underneath here, 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 under these lows in here. So there's a lot of liquidity being built. Liquidity grab a buy side liquidity. Then we start to in show that clear intent to the, to the downside. Pause here. And then we just start to obviously show more intent. And then here's where order flow just continues to be bearish. So we get a new low, lower high, new low. Obviously this doesn't show bearish intent at all, but once again, just reading the entire picture and just putting that jigsaw together. And then we've got price coming back into this OB, this area of supply, premium pricing, looking at potential shorts. And then I'm gonna see if we do get that short that presents itself. Right, so what I'm gonna be doing is setting the order. So what you can do is either set a market order or a penning order. So I'm gonna be setting a penning order in this instance. It's gonna be a sell limit. I'm gonna calculate with risk of 1%. So calculate based on the account size, which is 100K at price. So what we don't want to do, can you see this pen tool? So what we can do is drag it onto the charts instead of actually finding the actual price and say, right. Entry price here. Stop loss, what I'm going to do is have a safe pip stop just above these highs here. And then TP is going to be all the way down here as well. Perfect. So that's that and let's place the order. All right, so let's place that order and let's see if we get triggered into the trade. Not yet. If we do get triggered into the trade, you'll see it live here. That's the good thing about it. Trading view, you, do, you don't have access to that. You know, something like this, you actually do. You can see live trades play out. The stats will start to stack here as well. And you see that data live and it, it gives the most realistic feeling of actually trading live as well. As you can see, been executed into the cell, safe stop above as well. You guys know that I take partials, but in this instance, we're just going to set the TP. And then, bar forward. Okay, price has started to break previous lows now, perfect. stop to break even. Alright, so what I've done is just move my stop to break even, just a bit more to cover things like commission spread and stuff like that. And you can see this trade live in here as well. So let me plane this out further from a higher time frame. That's the thing about my trading as well. I don't I'm not managing from a micro, I'm managing from a macro once I'm actually in the trade. So from this perspective, it's it's essentially like a one hour, four hour entry. It's just lower time frame for a more accuracy. So what I'm doing, just gonna be playing this out a little bit. Obviously I have certain protocols in place and stuff for risk management so that I'm not giving profit all the way back and things like that, especially when the price is running uh, quite healthily. Just move this out of the way. Perfect. But in this instance, I just wanted to show you the actual trade itself. price is starting to come back. This is obviously why you need to break even. It's probably run about 4R, comes back close to break even, hasn't been tapped at this point yet. Start to break down. When is this? This is just prior to Frankfurt anyway. And then, right, London commitment. And then just tugged and swing low. Boom. Okay, swing low and hit. Perfect. That trade didn't have to play out, but it did. And then what have we got? So you can see here as well. So in total trades, profit one, max profit trade was that was the trade, the profit of the trade. And then we've got profit for the month, average profit as well, based on obviously accumulation of trades that you take over the course of data, max drawdown if there was any drawdown that trade, which obviously there was on this as well, max lot used. And you got all these different factors that obviously you monitor within your trading so it's just really good to actually have that access to that 
because most places you don't, you know. It's not the same as just actually just taking trades on trading view, roughly guessing what the profit would have been, and then adding up the figures of that. This is this is taking things to a completely different level, tracking the stats, tracking that data, and then using that to your advantage to better yourself as a trader. What you can also do as well, I haven't used it here, but what you can also do is actually add the risk reward tool on here as well. You've got it. You've got it in here as well, risk reward tool. So you can actually add that on as well, customize it how you want it, and then you can use that in your trading. So that's uh, it's very important. If you want to use this platform, drop down in the description below. You can have 10% off when you use my code MICHAELBAMBA10 and it allows you to obviously have 10% off any product on the website and it gives you access to this and it means that you can backtest your trading strategy with a more of a realistic view because you get this data processed here and you can actually use these stats. You can take screenshots, everything is available on this platform and it's just really good to have. So definitely check that out if you haven't already and let me know how you get on. I'll take